Hey yo guys, I'm Critico and this is Raft. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Day Survive 159. This is a bonus episode, by the way, where we are going to show Peggy's build off and our own build, of course, you know. And look at all the bottles, man. That's what we did need in the last uh, hour while playing with Peggy. Look at that, though. Loud music, neighbors ride. Can't shoot them legally, sadly, but let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, as you can see, this is the cabin that we did live as the captain, right? And, uh, you know, I kind of like it. It's nice and cozy. It is with everything that we do need, you know. An extra helmet if we want some. You know, it's really nice. Now, this is our storage room. As you can see, we have some uh, pictures of our friends and some strange, very strange art, one might say. Some secure lockers and some basic ones. Some more decorations over here. I really do like this room, though. I, it's one of my favorites. And remember, I did build or wrap for efficiency, not for art or decorative style, right? And as you can see, this is our kitchen right now. And I will show you guys this also in the middle of the night, right? So, yeah. That's our recipes that we did use in our Let's Play. And uh, over here, we have a super battery, right? You know, for some cocktails. And over here we have some more, some storage over there. Peggy's uh, personal bedroom though, or ha uh, hammock one might say, right? And then over here we have a piano or a command center. And I will show you guys a little overview of our front right over here from the top. A mega shark. And if we go down here, it is more industrial in a certain way, right? For here we have a painter. Here we have a water purifying system or dining corner with barbecue and of course the tables sadly there are high waves right now but hey you know wet feet that's part of being a rafter right and then over here we have our honey industry or beehives and so on and so forth these are the guys that uh, did really help us out that are drowning a little bit right we got here uh, this is osir if I, yep, that's Osir, this is Crazy Peggy, and that is our uh, subscriber. Doesn't turn around, but as you can see, he's a weirdo, right? Isn't he? <laughs> I like him, though. I like our subscribers. Now, let's go stop carrying that one. The, the tides are getting a little bit scary high, though, I have to admit. These palm trees, we never did cut down, though. We had that just for decoration, right, you know? And this is, well, the other side. And then down here, it's just pure, pure chaos. Uh, big chaos, just industrial right over here, right? You know, like biofuel maker, uh, the press. We have the, the stores for the biofuel, the engines, uh, three melters. And that's our noisy, noisy neighbor that is also growing in water right now. Hello there, Crazy Peggy. What a wonderful uh, hairdo you have. Very lovely, though. All right. And whoppa! Finally, let's get rid of the radio. And off we go, though. This is a very nice place, Peggy. Hey! You better get out, though. Bruce is there. But this is a very nice place, Peggy. I have to admit it. See, finally used or... Or... Peggy! Stop it! <laughs> Throw it away! It's so freakishly loud, though. But yeah, you know uh, the cookery that we did boy for her? And... Oh, look at that little duckling. Nice. I like it, Peggy. I like it. Her personal little kitchen over here. And then we have the barbecue. Oh, I like it. First time that I'm seeing this, by the way. I did see a little bit from up there when I did my work, but uh, that's about it, though, huh? Very lovely. And, of course, he's eating like always. Hmm. I like it. I like it. All right. Now I will walk slowly through it. Uh, and then uh, I will let you enjoy it and then we will cut through the night and then yeah I hope you enjoyed the entire let's play guys it's kind of weird for me to do actually a uh, farm tour as you can see very professional about it though but well, we call it a farm tour but it's a rap tour right now normally you do that with games like Stardew Valley and uh, other games like that right but here we are boys enjoy
Hey, Peggy, get out of my bed, though. Damn. Better get out of there. Alright guys, I had an awesome time playing this game. I give it a an 8.7 out of 10 Kurigos. The reason is is that the final boss, the puzzle zones and so on, did not feel a lot like Rev. And the last two islands, although very cool, felt very rushed. And you know, there could be some some different shark types you know what i mean like a very fat one that it just slow but bites much harder or a skinny version you know that is a little bit more but well, scarred but it's very fast you know that would be very cool right and of course our favorite bruce itself i do oh stingrays nice um i do miss special offense you know like like i don't know a ufo or uh, star showers that would have made the game so much more special right and not only that but maybe even a random ass airplane flying over you know and maybe crashing in the ocean so we cannot see it all those little things would have made the game more magic you know and i know it sounds very weird though but you need the magic feeling by games that you do actually play like this where you are crafting and building and everything evolves around that right it will be very cool but the worst thing in the end why it's not a 9.7 is that at the end we should have crafted something for those people right like like a small raft or a radio tower or anything of that sort right that tells other people hey here are the coordinates please come here with all your raiders right you know i think that would have made it very special but it's a definitely must play i had such a great time and i longed for games like this and that's why in the next episode of a different game right after this episode though so the next day you will see a game that i did actually start out kurigo with the game got uh, deleted because of copa stuff right you know and we wanted to have a fresh start um kind of dumb decision but that game is very special to me i finished it three times uh even on the playstation i had all the trophies though and there is one trophy man Bam, that's a difficult one and i'm going to play that in co-op with crazy peggy so yeah i will see you guys there in stardew valley so have a wonderful time and i will see you guys then and don't forget out to check out the forest that is coming soon out too on my channel so yeah see you guys then stay happy stay healthy and don't forget to subscribe bye bye and check out crazy peggy's channel all right bye bye